Hello and welcome to the English Box. Following a request from an online viewer, we've decided to make a video on mixed conditionals today. In order to understand mixed conditionals and the structure of mixed conditionals, it's first very important to know the structure of the first, second and third conditionals. If you need to revise this, I recommend you click on the link on the whiteboard. If you know these structures, then you can understand a mixed conditional as a mixture of two of the conditionals. That is to say, a mixture normally of the second and third conditional. But when do we use these mixed conditionals? Well, we have to use them when the time in the if clause is different from the time in the main clause. But what do I mean by this? Well, let's consider this example. If I had won the lottery, I would be rich. Here we have the if clause, the first part of the sentence before the comma, in the third conditional form. And the main clause in yellow, the second part of the sentence after the comma, in the second conditional form. So the if clause is a third conditional for a hypothetical past event. It refers to something that happened in the past. And the main clause is a second conditional for a hypothetical present event. So this would be true in the present moment. Normally, a third conditional would look as follows. If I had won the lottery, I would have been rich. But consider the meaning of this. It doesn't really make sense. It would mean that I had spent all my money. I don't have any money anymore. Both of these events would be past events, even though the second, the result or outcome, is still true now. For this reason, the mixed conditionals are often quite intuitive. You probably produce them without really thinking about it. So let's consider some other examples of mixed conditionals. Those sentences underlined in red are third conditional forms, and those sentences underlined in yellow are second conditional forms. For example, if Darren hadn't wasted his entire month's wage on partying, he would go on holiday with us next month. So in the past, he wasted all his money, and our holiday is next month. So this is a mixture of the two conditionals because we were talking about a past event uh, in relation to a future event. If I didn't have to work so much, I would have gone to the football match last night. So here we have the main clause referring to a past event, but the if clause refers to a constant event. So not something that we did in the past, or not only in the past, but also in the present and most probably in the future. And finally, if Donna weren't making us a nice dinner tonight, I would have suggested going to the new Indian restaurant. So the first half again is in the second conditional, and the second half, the main clause, is in the third conditional. If Donna weren't making us a nice dinner tonight obviously refers to the future, a future hypothetical, uh, event if it weren't true, and the second it refers to a past event some time before now, I would have suggested going to the Indian restaurant and having a nice big fat curry. Okay, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope that's uh, cleared up your questions about the mixed conditionals. To watch another video on uh, advanced conditionals, click on the link. To watch a video uh, with a complete tense overview that took me ages to make, click on the link in the top left. Um, and to subscribe, click on that link. I don't know if that will work yet, I hope so. And whatever you do, don't click on the red link. Okay, thank you for watching and 